Hi everybody, I'm Mark Jacobson with an MGM Minute for the week of September 2nd, 2024 overlooking Mandalay Bay and Luxor right in the Las Vegas Strip. Here's what's happening across MGM Resorts International. September is Responsible Gaming Education Month. MGM Resorts and BetMGM are once again partnering with the American Gaming Association to help educate guests, customers, and employees on making informed decisions while playing, with the ultimate goal to keep gambling fun. Along with that, the companies will execute their responsible gaming campaign at designated NFL stadiums for the second year, with increased exposure for GameSense. GameSense marketing will appear more often and in more prominent venue locations during each game. GameSense is an industry-leading responsible gaming program first developed and licensed to MGM Resorts in 2017 by the British Columbia Lottery Corporation. Also coinciding with Responsible Gaming Education Month, MGM Resorts has announced a $440,000 contribution to fund responsible gaming research through the International Center for Responsible Gaming and Kindbridge Research Institute. These studies aim to advance industry best practices and fill significant research gaps on understudied populations, including women military veterans. It's, it's an exciting time for us to be able to collaborate with the American Gaming Association on this important initiative. And it's really a great opportunity for us as industry to be able to showcase everything that we're doing to promote responsible gaming. And as our employees really serve as the cornerstone to our responsible gaming efforts, we have expanded upon our employee training program, recently certifying over 500 of our employees as GameSense advisors. At MGM Resorts, we're really committed to encouraging our guests to have an enjoyable and responsible experience. Along that line, the pro football season kicks off this week. With that, action is beginning to pick up at BetMGM Sportsbooks, located inside MGM Resorts Properties in Las Vegas. The same can be said for the BetMGM Sportsbooks at MGM Resorts Properties in Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Mississippi, New Jersey, and Ohio. The newly enhanced BetMGM app is seeing a rise in activity as well. Oh my gosh, that Thursday game is going to be off the chain it's going to be unbelievable with the chiefs and the ravens and plus we get that bonus game on friday from brazil can't wait to the packers and the and the uh eagles on friday night typically in the books first weekend of uh, pro football it is packed jerseys are represented from every team and people are just having a great time and we we look forward to that time now, here's someone you should get to know. Meet Joe Liano, a uniform control manager at Aria Resort and Casino in Las Vegas. Recently, Joe learned about a guest whose daughter was undergoing chemotherapy and was unable to join her on her trip. Without hesitation, Joel decided to create a personalized Sky Suites robe with the daughter's name embroidered on it, which he then presented to the guest during her visit. Aria's guest experience team later received an email from the guest thanking Joel and expressing how touched her daughter was by the thoughtful gift. We thought we'd add a little nice special touch for, you know, a repeat guest of ours that was going through something and, and battling, obviously, an illness that, you know, no one wants to ever see. And especially to have it as, as their child that's going through it. You know, if she can't be here physically, maybe we can take a piece of Aria home with her. If you have the ability to do something great and leave a positive impact, then why not? And it, it's just something, uh, it's just kind of the culture that we built around here. Heading out to Biloxi, Mississippi now. This past week, MGM Resorts, Beau Rivage Resort and Casino hosted the 17th annual Make-A-Wish Golf Tournament at Fallen Oak. 168 players participated alongside PGA Tour professional Taylor Montgomery. All proceeds benefited the Make-A-Wish Foundation and the organization's efforts to help make wishes come true for children with critical illnesses. It's great to see everybody come out here and just support a great cause. Paul and Oak and Beauravage um, has had a wonderful relationship with Make-A-Wish Foundation, um, even predating back to my before my start date over here. But um, I'm happy to be a part of such a great event and such a great cause. We're always happy to be able to make a difference in the Gulf Coast and to bring some sort of impact and light into a great foundation like that. And we're excited to part with, partner with them in future years and um, make the event even greater and bigger. And finally, MGM Resorts has named its quarterly Volunteer Service Award winners. In Las Vegas, Surveillance Shift Manager Jeff Davey was recognized for regularly cleaning books with Spread the Word Nevada, an organization that recently named him Volunteer of the Year. In Yonkers, New York, Empire City Casino's Director of Workforce Development, Mildred Blanco, was honored for spending her Sunday mornings with incarcerated women in two prisons, delivering messages of encouragement and guidance along with literacy support. 
The People's Choice Award went to Jim Drew, the compliance manager at Borgata Hotel Casino and Spa in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Last year, Jim donated more than 200 volunteer hours as a blood donor with the Red Cross and as a volunteer for the Atlantic City Marathon, Field of Dreams, and many other nonprofit organizations. These team members and body focused on what matters, MGM Resort's wider commitment to social impact, sustainability, and community engagement. Each award winner receives $2,500 from MGM Resorts to donate to the charitable organization of their choice. And for more information on any of these events or happenings, feel free to contact us at media at mgmresorts.com. Have a great week.